uh, this section you already learned, right? So the matter, right? So actually our world is comprised, okay? Our world is comprised of matter and energy, right? That is, you already know. So here we are totally going to deal with the matter, right? So uh, the matter, according to the uh, chemical composition, right? It can be divided into pure substances as well as mixtures, okay? So pure substances further can be classified as elements, compounds, and mixtures further can be uh, divided as homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures, right? So according to the physical nature, the states, matter can be divided into their physical states, solid, liquid, and gas, right? So here, mainly, right? So mainly, you know what? The building unit, right? The building unit of matter is atom, right? The building unit of matter is atom, right? So, you know what? Uh, the atom is composed of uh, subatomic particles. That is, you already know. What are they? They are electron, proton, and neutron. These are the main subatomic particles, okay? And also, you learned in grade 9, uh, that is, electron is negatively charged particle, right? Proton is a positively charged particle and neutrons have no charge, okay? And here further, uh, you are going to learn about the theory, right? The, uh, the first atomic model, right? Atomic model based on the nuclear model, it was uh, introduced by Ernest Rutherford, right? Ernest Rutherford uh, in 1911, right? So he normally explained or he said that a very small area, right? A very small area called nucleus at the center of the atom. Uh, that is, if you imagine uh, the atom as a football ground, a chickpea, normally less than, okay, less than the size of a chickpea is in the center of that football ground. That is near to the atomic model. Okay, right. So further, um, he stated, right? Right. And also you should know, right, uh, electrons, they revolve around the nucleus. Electrons, they revolve around the nucleus. And also the number of electrons in an atom is equal to the number of protons, right? The number of electrons in an, in a uh, what, neutral, right? In a neutral atom that is equal to number of protons, okay? Uh, however, the protons and electrons are oppositely charged and also we say that the elect uh, atom is electrically neutral. Why? Because uh, in a neutral atom, right, in a neutral atom, uh, the number of protons will be equal to the number of electrons because proton gets the positive charge and electron gets the negative charge and when they are in the equal amount, they will be neutralized. So we can say the in a neutral atom, right, number of protons and number of uh, electrons will be equal, right? Now further, the planetary model, right? The planetary model of the atom, planetary model, at, uh, model of the atom also was introduced by the scientist Ernest Rutherford, right? Uh, here uh, he says, okay, electrons revolve around the nucleus uh, continuously, right? Faster. Okay, its movement is faster. It is, it's like a solar system, right? Where the planets revolve around the sun. So normally you may think, right, inside the nucleus, where the positive charge of the atom is highly concentrated and surrounding that one, electron is there. So electrons will be attracted by the protons. And uh, you may think, uh, will, uh, will the electrons be attracted and fall away? No, it won't be fall. Okay. What happens? Electrons continuously, right? Continuously revolve, okay, revolves faster, revolve faster around the nucleus, which is with the positively charged concentrated, right? And uh, I want to say, uh, right, and further, after his uh, Rutherford, Ernest Rutherford theory, okay, Niels Bohr, right? Niels Bohr, another person, right? Niels Bohr, another, another scientist, he further explained, right? He further explained the uh, planetary 
model. Right, he further explained. Uh, actually, uh, his explanation was, right, uh, uh, electrons, right? So, electrons, they move in a, right, patterns here. Okay, you can see this one. Uh, they move, right? The electrons move in a definite parts ways. Okay, definite parts. We also can call them as the shells. Okay, we can uh, call them as the shells. And they are assigned with the numbers as one, two, three, four. You can, okay, number the shells. Or else uh, you can name it as K, L, M, N, respectively, right? Respectively, starting from the nearest of the nucleus, right? Starting from the nearest of the nucleus, uh, you can call it. All right. So every shell, okay, every shell has the specific energy, right? Every shell has the specific energy. Uh, in your syllabus for your grade 10, right, only up to we are going to discuss about the uh, KLMN energy level and the, up for the 20 electrons, right, for the 20 elements we are going to discuss, right. So normally you should know children for the first energy level, that is K, we also can call as K, right, so it will be containing only two electrons. The second energy level that is also known uh, as L, okay, that maximum that can hold eight electrons, okay. The third energy level or the M level energy level can be called as, okay, maximum number of electron is 18, okay. And the fourth level, okay, fourth level or the N level, maximum number of electrons, okay, uh, 30. Two. If when you go to A levels, okay, you can further uh, elaborately learn about the energy levels, sub-energy levels, different patterns, okay, you can learn. So for your syllabus, it's enough to face the exam, okay. Right, so see the way of arrangement, okay. So the K or the first energy level starts nearest to the nucleus, okay, then it moves K, L, M, N, right. So, right. Now, let's learn the properties of the elements. First one, right? The atomic number, right? The atomic number, right? Um, in a gist way, right, you learn in grade 9. So, here, somewhat elaborately, you have to learn uh, the atomic number. Actually, uh, maybe, it, right, maybe it is an ion or the what neutral atom so what is that uh, what do you mean by neutral atom so normally the subatomic particles that is present in a neutral atom are what uh, protons uh, electrons and uh, neutrons right protons electrons and neutrons right so here uh, the atomic number, right? Uh, atomic number means it is the number of protons, okay? Atomic number means it, the protons, okay? The number of protons in an atom of that element. So normally, you know what? Uh, the You already, you know what? In a neutral atom, uh, the number of protons, right? The number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So why don't we define... Uh, the atomic number is equal to the number of electrons in an atom of the element here, children. Uh, normally, uh, if it is an ion, what is ion? Okay, I-O-N, ion. What is that ion? Ion means what? When, a chem when the chemical reaction takes place, right? When the chemical reaction takes place in the atom, sometime from the atoms, electrons may be lost or electrons may be gained. So, when it is uh, right, lost or gain, so it becomes as ions, okay, they become as ions. So, if the, uh, in the ions, okay, in, when you consider the ions, the number of protons will not be equal to the number of electrons, okay, the number of protons will not be equal to the number of electrons, but always the pro the number of protons will be constant okay nothing will happen because the protons are inside the nucleus okay so nothing will happen to the protons so that's what 
it may be a iron or neutral atom we'll say okay we'll, we can define the atomic number means okay atomic number means that is the number of protons okay that is the number of protons in an element okay number of protons in an atom of the element is equal to the atomic number of the element okay with the symbol right the symbol of the uh, atomic number is z right z right now we'll see what is the mass number right right so normally you know the sub atomic particles okay the sub atomic particles of the atom right the sub atomic particles of the atoms are protons neutrons and the electrons right so here when you consider the uh, mass of each sub atomic particles electrons are very light okay, electrons are very light so approximately we'll say right normally uh, the mass of an electron is 1 over 1840 the mass of the proton so it is very light so we don't consider the mass of the uh, electron so normally the mass number means right the mass number means what is that the mass number means it is the number of protons plus number of neutrons mass number means number of protons plus number of neutrons right so here right so uh, for the mass number right the symbol of the mass number is okay capital a capital a right sometime for the exam the okay standard okay uh, they can give the atomic number value mass number value for an atom and they can uh, say you to uh, represent in the standard manner so mass number should come up and no, atomic number should come below the mass number you have to write in this manner this is the correct way right so see this one standard representation right so sodium 23 it's the mass number uh, 11 it is the atomic number right so what about the number of uh, protons it, because it is a neutral atom so number of proton is equal to the atomic number that is the usual definition right so 11 so as it is the neutral atom you already already know what is number of proton is equal to number of uh, electrons so electron also 11 okay uh, right then what about the uh, neutron number neutron number you know the mass number is given mass number is equal to right p plus n so you know the mass number you know the uh, proton value so if you subtract 11 from this 23 you will get the value okay that is 12 okay right now let's see okay electronic configuration right so in the electronic configuration right so let's see uh, uh normally what is the electronic uh configuration so right representing right representing how electrons are filled right representing how electrons are filled in the respective energy level from one nearest to the nucleus of an atom and outwards is called the electronic configuration so right so rather than uh, so let's go for the atoms and its electronic configuration right so hydrogen helium right so you know the symbols for each okay uh, atom in grade 9 would have learned okay see the way of filling okay the maximum atomic number so okay the number of electrons also one so arrangement of electrons in the respective energy level we are going to see 
in your textbook, you can see, right? Lithium, beryllium, boron, right? So 5, 2, comma, 3. Carbon, 6, right? 2, comma, 4. Nitrogen, 7, 2, comma, 5, right? Oxygen, 8, 2, comma, 6. Chlorine, 9, 2, comma, 7. Neon, it's 10, 2, comma, 8. Okay. Uh, uh, sodium, 11. So, 2, comma, 8, comma, 1. Okay. So, magnesium, right, see, 12, okay, 12, the atomic number. So, the electrons, 2, comma, 8, comma, 2. The maximum that is filled in the L energy level, okay? That is 8, then the next is filled in the respective uh, following energy levels. Right? So respectively, uh, so you are given with the 20 elements, okay, the respect, you can see in your textbook, the, okay, filling of the electrons in each element, you can see, okay, right. So, right, so normally in this world, right, in nature, uh, more than 115 elements, okay, uh, okay have been discovered, still being discovered, right? So, for that, but for your syllabus, only 20 elements, okay? Only 20 elements, okay? Only 20 elements okay. is given, right? Only 20 elements is given, right? any doubt up to what you learn atomic number and the mass number anyone is there can anyone talk children yes teacher okay right we inside plasma okay right so here um here see this one we had given right uh nearly right 110 okay Right. So, uh, with the elements they had given, right? So, the blue color is mentioned as metal. Orange color is non-metal. And the metalloid is green. And the, right, and the brown color is noble gas. Okay. Noble gas, they had marked in. But for our syllabus, right, only this much of this, okay, this much of the elements, okay, to be discussed, okay, to be discussed. So, that is, um, 20 elements, right? See thoroughly, 20 elements, right? So the horizontal rows, right? Horizontal rows are called the periods and the vertical groups, okay? The vertical groups are known as, okay, the vertical lines, vertical columns are known as groups, okay? 
so how many uh, periods are available can anyone say me the answer how many periods are available how many periods four. are available? yeah very good four. Four. yeah yeah four periods okay four. one two three four right so horizontal rows are known as uh, periods and vertical columns are known as groups so how many groups are available out of the 20 eight. elements eight. yeah eight. 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 eight eight yes eight okay this is that no noble gas okay noble yeah, so we'll be considering later what is noble gas okay so here it can be called as the zero group okay zero group or the eight group okay so see this one uh so here uh they had given uh, one chart that is they had said see the hydrogen one that is period one helium two and they didn't mention okay the same period one so that's what in the same color so from lithium to right lithium to uh, neon see lithium to neon how many energy levels are there one two k l k l k l for carbon also k l okay the that means the total number of electrons for the carbon is six so two comma four that means two energy level it is filled in the two energy level so nitrogen 7, 2, 5, it is filled in 2 energy level. Oxygen, 2, 6. Like the chlorine, 2, 7. Neon is 2, 8. So, uh, how can you correlate? So, number of energy levels also 2. The period number also 2. Can you understand? So, you how to identify the period number of the elements? The number of energy level is equal to the period number. This is how you can easily identify. Can you understand? Right. Okay. See this one, blue color from sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, okay, sulfur, chlorine, argon, the light blue in color, okay. So all these elements are with how many energy level? One, two, three, okay. Three energy levels, all are with the three, three energy levels, all are with the three energy levels, okay. So three energy levels means period number three, okay. Now see this one, potassium and, right, potassium and calcium. So, how many periods? 1, 2, 3, 4 energy levels. Okay, for the potassium as well as the calcium. So, 4 energy levels means that they belong to period number 4. Right? So, if when we uh, go to the... Okay, again. Okay, now you see this one. So, beryllium. So, uh, for beryllium, uh, what is that? It has... Uh, one two period okay one two it is in the second period that means it has two energy level it has two energy level okay so magnesium so magnesium in the third period okay magnesium in the third period so how many energy levels for magnesium three energy level mm -hmm. see this one fluorine fluorine okay see this fluorine fluorine is in the period number right Right, this part you would have understood. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Now let's see the group and the okay energy level relationship. Right. So see this one elements with the one electron in the outer energy level. So that belongs to group one. Okay. Elements with the two electrons in the outer energy level is group two. Group two, right? So elements with elements elements with the three electrons in the outer energy level is group three right elements with the four electrons in the outer level energy level is group four like that we can correlate so right so what do we understand the number of electrons in the outer energy level right the number of electrons in the outer energy level is equal to the group okay belong okay that element belong to the relevant group number Okay, let's see here. 
See this one, okay? Uh, here the group numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right. So how can you correlate? Right. So the outer energy level of the hydrogen. Okay. The outer last in the last energy level in the hydrogen one is there because only hydrogen has one energy level. So one. So it belongs to group one. So in the beryllium, okay. In the beryllium, the okay, uh, the last, okay. Then in the last energy level, how many electrons are there? Two. So it belongs to group two. See this chlorine. Okay. The last energy level contains seven electrons, right? So it belongs to the group seven. So even the helium, neon, argon, why this belongs to group eight? Because in the last energy level, it contains eight electrons. Okay. So exception is the helium. Okay. So that's what we say zero group also, right? So helium only. They have a total two electrons. So the la in the last energy level, only two electrons is there. So it is also considered as noble gas. Okay. Right. So the summary chart is there. You can see the summary chart. So the elements, atomic number, energy level. And the group number they belong. Okay. So still another uh, chart is there. Okay, right. See this one. Right. So you can see the summary chart. Okay. The atomic number, element, right? Electronic configuration, period of the element. Okay, group number. So again, we can correlate in the summarized way, right? So, see this one, atomic number one for the hydrogen element. Electronic configuration means what? The arrangement of the electrons in the respective energy levels, okay? So, see this one, period of the element, only one energy level, so first one period. So, group of element is what? The last energy level electron is what? One. So, one. It belongs to group one. So, the atomic number two element is helium. So, the arrangement of electrons is what? Two electrons. So the period of the element is what? Because only uh, one energy level. So period belongs to one period. So group of the element is zero. Oh, it is eighth group. That is noble gas group. Okay. So lithium, the elect third. Okay, atomic number is third three. So energy level is two comma one. So one two. Okay, two energy level. So number of period also two. So see in the last energy level one is the electron. So that group belongs to one. Okay. Then the four atomic number, right? The element is beryllium. The okay. Uh, what is that? Electronic configuration is what? Two comma two, right? Two comma two. Then period of the element is what? So two energy level. So two period. So in the last energy level, two electrons are there. So it belongs to group two. So see the five atomic number, boron. So two comma three electronic configuration that that is the arrangement of electrons. Okay. So how many periods anyone can can say? One of you can anyone say the number of periods? Oh, number of periods one two. There are two energy levels. So number of period is equal to the number of energy levels. So how many periods? Two comma four. It is filled in two. Energy level. So, how many periods? What is the number of period of two. that element? Yeah, two. Okay, ma. If the energy level, right? If two energy levels are there, that is the that is equal to the number of period. To identify the group number, you have to see the last energy level. Okay. If it is having two energy level, 
see the last energy level in the last energy level what is the number 4 so 4 that is the group number okay group of that element okay now see the nitrogen 7 is the atomic number electronic configuration is 2 comma 5 so to how many energy levels 1 2 2 comma 5 means there are two energy levels okay so in the two energy levels mean it belongs to period 2 so in the last energy level how many electrons are there five so it belongs to group 5 okay again next one oxygen okay so for oxygen what is the atomic number 8 so 2 comma 6 so how many energy levels 2 comma 6 there are two energy levels so period number 2 okay so in the last energy level how many what is the number of uh, in electrons 6 so it belongs to group 6 okay fluorine so 2 comma 7 okay totally 9 electrons now so it is arranging 2 comma 7 so 1 2 there are two energy levels so it is belonging to period number 2 so how to identify the group number in the last energy level how many electrons are there are 7 so it belongs to group 7 okay then neon it it has its atomic number is 10 okay 2 comma 8 okay 2 comma 8 so 8 means what so how many energy levels are there two energy levels are there so period number 2 and in the last energy level 8 is there so it belongs to group 8 or zero group okay and level sodium 2 comma 8 comma 1 okay three energy levels have come now so it belongs to three period and in the last energy level one it is filled with the one electron so it belongs to group one so like that magnesium 2 12 so 2 comma 8 comma 2 right totally 12 electrons so how many energy level 1 2 3 3 energy levels so it belongs to period 3 and what is the group number so you have to see the last energy level so that is 2 so it belongs to group 2 okay so like that aluminum okay 13 atomic number so total electrons is what 2 comma 8 comma 3 right so uh, number of energy levels is 3 so it is equal to also period number 3 so last energy level has 3 electrons so it is also group number 3 okay so silicon it is 14 so 2 comma 8 comma 4 so this is the electronic configuration and how many energy levels are there three energy levels so it belongs to period number 3 and see the last energy level there are four electrons so it belongs to group 4 now phosphorus okay so how many electrons 15 electrons so 2 comma 8 comma 5 okay so how many energy levels three energy levels so three energy levels means third period so at the last energy level how many electrons are there five electrons are there so it belongs to group 5 next one sulfur okay so how many electrons are there 16 atomic number is 16 so 16 electrons are there so 2 comma 8 comma 6 okay so there are three energy levels so it also belongs to period number 3 okay in the last energy level 6 is there so it also belong to group 6 okay 17 so that is chlorine so 2 comma 8 comma 7 so three energy levels so it also belongs to period number 3 so in the last energy level 7 is there so it belongs to group 7 okay right and for the argon 18 2 comma 8 comma 8 so see completely filled with 8 electrons so 2 comma 8 comma 8 so totally three energy levels so it belong to period number 3 and in the last energy level eight electrons are there so it belong to group 8 so 19 potassium 2 comma 8 comma maximum the 8 is filled then again okay 2 comma 8 comma 8 so 18 then 19 electrons belong to potassium so one more so comma one next energy level so there are four energy levels okay so four four energy levels or four shells or four parts okay so there are four energy levels so what is the period number 
and as the last energy level contain one electron the group number 1 okay again calcium 20 atomic number okay so 2 comma 8 comma 8 comma 2 right so how many energy levels there are four energy levels okay so uh, as four energy levels are there it belongs to uh, period number 4 in the last energy level what is that electron 2 is there number 2 so it belongs to group 2 so do we have any doubt in this one anyone answer me any doubt can you understand answer please hello Anyone? Yes, please. So we can understand. Okay, right. Okay, right. Now, isotopes. Okay, so you should know, children, right? Uh, in the element, right? Element is made up of atoms. Element is made up of atoms. Okay, atoms with this. Okay, so in a in in a particular element, all the atoms are same, right? All the atoms are same. Right. So here. uh in some cases uh, like okay in hydrogen okay in chlorine uh, what happens is even in oxygen uh there are some atoms in the name of isotopes what is that isotopes okay so normally you have to understand okay atoms uh or in a particular element the atomic number right the atomic number of the atoms will be same right atomic number of the atoms will be same for all the atoms but the mass number right the mass number will be different among the um, atoms so in if you uh, have if we have chlorine right nearly uh, 25 percentage will be with one type of okay one amount of mass number and 75 percentage will be with another mass number okay but its atomic number of all the chlorine will be same chlorine atoms will be same okay now we'll consider right so what do you mean by isotope the atoms with different mass number in the same element are known as the isotopes of that element so what is the reason okay what is the reason uh, for the different mass number children you already know mass number is equal to what is that protons plus neutrons protons plus neutrons okay already know atomic number means what the number of protons the number of proton is equal to the atomic number so in a mass number if proton plus neutron is equal to the mass number means so proton number won't change okay proton number won't change okay because that is also equal to the atomic number but there will be a change in neutrons okay neutron when there is a change in neutrons so p plus n is equal to mass number that mass number will be changing so the atoms with different mass number in the same element are known as isotopes of that element okay so uh, proton number won't change but the neutron number will change due to the change in the neutrons number right the mass number is different so hydrogen in a hydrogen element there are three isotopes called protium deuterium and tritium okay we'll see how okay right i said you the change in neutrons okay the change in neutron is the reason for the change in the mass number see the atomic model okay right see uh, isotope right uh, isotope protium right deuterium and tritium okay so see uh, in the protium electron okay outside only one electron proton also one but neutron zero right so so atomic number what is the atomic number atomic number is equal to proton so p okay one so mass number what is that mass number proton plus neutron so 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 so standard representation okay they have represented uh now again deuterium electron is 1 proton is 1 okay so again neutron is 
So atomic number that is equal to proton number, atomic number is one. Okay. Uh, mass number is what? Two. How? Oh, okay. So P plus N is equal to mass number. So proton one. So neutron one, two. See the standard representation. Okay. Next one, tritium. So uh, electron one, proton one, neutron. We are saying two neutrons are there. So atomic number that is equal to proton number that is one. And what is the mass number that is equal to P plus N. Okay. P plus N. So P plus N means what? Um, uh, mass number uh, p plus n 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3 see so isotopes means what okay 1 2 3 okay but although the atomic numbers are same but the mass number is different when the mass number is different we call them as the isotopes okay right i said you right in the chlorine right 35 37 different mass number but the atomic number won't change. Okay. So the different percentage is there. Okay. If you consider the chlorine atom. Okay. So, uh, right. If you take as the 100 parts, 75 parts are, what is that? The 35, 17 chlorine. 25 percentage is what? 37, 17 chlorine. So we can call them as the percentage abundance. Okay. 25 percentage of this one, this isotope and 75 percentage of these isotopes. Okay. So the percentage of abundance, percentage abundance of the respective isotopes of 35, 17 chlorine is 75 percentage. Okay. 37, 17 chlorine is 25 percentage. Right. So did you understand children?